Okay, we've got the newest version of the Time Fuse cutting and punching and slitting machine. Uh, made a number of refinements to this particular model and uh, it works really slick. Uh, you'll see down here we've actually got a scale that's machined into our cutting indexer. So you can use that to actually gauge the length of the time fuse that you're cutting. Little thumb screw here actually locks our shuttle in place. So to actually adjust the length of our uh, time fuse, what we'll do is we'll actually rotate our knob. And you can see as we're rotating the knob, this little shuttle here moves up and down inside the time fuse cutting channel. So we just rotate the knob to set the length that we want to cut our fuse. Every revolution of this knob is 1 20th of an inch. So 20 complete turns will uh, cut your time fuse to an exact inch. Go ahead and set it where we want. Use this little friction knob. Lock everything to place. Uh, when that friction knob is screwed down, this lead screw is not going to move. Nothing's going to move. So every single piece you cut is going to be to the exact same length. We'll take our time fuse and it comes into the uh, channel over here on the left hand side. And we just slide it all the way in the channel up against the uh, shuttle here. Go ahead and push our lever down and the time fuse is cut. Index a little bit more time fuse and it's cut and it's super easy to do. Right now we've got this cutter held in a milling vise and uh, milling machine. If you're out in the field using it, what you can actually do is bolt it down to your work surface with these th four holes that are up here. Underneath the time fuse cutter is a channel that will actually, uh, and a pocket that will actually collect all the debris from the cutting and punching operation. So you can literally just blow it out. You don't need to actually have a hole inside your uh, workbench for everything to fall through. So now that we've got our time fuse cut to length, we've got a couple of different options for cross matching. We've got two bores here. This left hand bore is gonna actually slit the time fuse a half inch into the fuel grain for cross match. So we just push our time fuse in there, bring our lever down. And when we pull it out, you can see that we've got a nice cut all the way through the time fuse. Uh, so we can actually insert some cross match in there and uh, use that for ignition. The right hand hole is actually used to punch a slug out of our time fuse. And uh, this will actually uh, punch a slug out exactly a quarter inch into the fuel grain for timing. Uh, you'll notice how much easier this is than previous versions. The uh, uh, pivot point between uh, the actual pivot of the handle and the punch is a lot less. Uh, and our punches are, are slightly redesigned as well. So all we do is stick our time fuse in here, push the lever down, push through it, and you've got a nice slug knocked out of that time fuse.